Good morning, Britain. Flying into the Korean crisis, Theresa May has arrived in Japan just hours after North Korea fires a ballistic missile right across the country. Overnight, Pyongyang said it was the first step of military operations in the Pacific. Shock resignation. The leader of the Scottish Labour walks, but Kezia Dugdale denies claims that she was forced out. No end in sight. 15 dead, dozens missing and dams overflowing. A storm Harvey continues to wreak havoc across the southern US. And in sport, Arsenal reject Manchester City's £50 million cash bid for Alexis Sanchez. Wednesday, 30th of August, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Richard Maidley and Ramveer Singh. What's going on this morning? Good morning, yeah. everybody. Just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the show. My last show. My last I program. know. Yeah, I want to stay. It's been lovely having you. I'm going to put some Senecott to Eamon Holmes's mug of coffee this <laughs> So he's stuck in the loo tomorrow. I'll just sneak in. And, what yeah, if we bid £50 million or whatever it is to keep you? Ah, uh, no, you wouldn't get a penny of no, that. Though, no, no, no. <laughs> Not that oh. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, then, uh, where is she today? Here's Lucy now with her first look at the weather from Raby Castle in Darlington. Thank you, Richard. A very good morning to you from County Durham, not far from Darlington here. I'm in the north of England because the weather has been flipped on the last couple of days as we head into the middle of the week. Fine, bright conditions across northern Britain and Northern Ireland with rain moving into the south and a slide in temperature as well. I've got the full forecast for you shortly. OK, thanks very much, Lucy. Back with you later. Uh, but first to our main news this morning, North Korea has threatened... More action in the Pacific, saying its firing of a missile over Japan was the first step of military operations in the area. Well, this, of course, comes as Theresa May is due to arrive in Japan for a three-day visit, which is meant to focus on trade and security. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is in Kyoto. Richard, obviously, Theresa May's visit is going to be overshadowed by North Korea's missile actions, isn't it? 